Well, minutes ago, President Trump issued an executive order to mandate federal agencies to collect citizenship data and provide that to the Commerce Department. This is controversy about immigration continues and ICE raids are start starting this weekend. KDK's Washington correspondent Alexander Ramon has more. When you saw the father, that little girl drowned. Hawaii Senator Maisie Hirono was in tears when addressing the situation at the U.S.-Mexico border. If you weren't appalled by these pictures, then something is dead or dying in your hearts. Democratic senators introduced a bill they call the Stop Cruelty to Migrants. It would end family separations, set minimum health standards for immigration detention centers, and provide legal aid to unaccompanied minors. It's changing the entire mistreatment of children from beginning to end. While humanitarian organizations like Amnesty International support all of the provisions of this bill, they have criticized Republicans and Democrats for voting to pass the 4.6 billion dollar emergency spending bill last month with no strings attached. What the U.S. government gave to the Trump administration was a blank check to engage in more of the same. The Trump administration has made it clear it will continue to crack down. Immigration and Customs Enforcement agents are preparing to launch raids and round up undocumented immigrants. They're absolutely going to happen. There's approximately a million people in this country with removal orders. Democratic lawmakers fear families and children will be caught up in the raids, which are expected in large cities, including San Francisco, Los Angeles, New York, and Miami. In Washington, Alexandra Limon, KETK News.